This video shows how to generate a random sample from a multivariate normal distribution using StatGraphX18. The multivariate normal distribution is a generalization of the univariate normal distribution. It's used to describe the joint probability distribution of m variables. An important property of the multivariate normal distribution is that every linear combination of the m variables is itself normally distributed. Here you see a bivariate normal distribution fitted to a sample of individuals. It represents the distribution of body temperature and heart rate. You'll notice an orientation of the distribution along a positive diagonal representing the positive correlation between those two variables. There are two ways to parameterize a multivariate normal distribution. The first specifies a vector of m means and an m by m covariance matrix. The second method is to parameterize the multivariate normal distribution by specifying a vector of m means, a vector of m standard deviations, and an m by m correlation matrix. StatGraphics 18 uses the second parameterization. For example, here you see a data sheet set up to generate random numbers from a trivariate normal distribution. There's a column containing three means, a column containing three standard deviations, and three columns containing the correlation matrix amongst the three variables. Let's go ahead now and generate our random sample. To do that, I'll go to the Tools menu and select Monte Carlo Simulation Multivariate Normal Random Numbers. The column Mu contains the means, the column sigma contains the standard deviation, and the other three columns contain the correlation matrix. On the Analysis Options dialog box, I'll ask for a sample of size 1000. And if I wanted to get the same sequence of random numbers more than once, I could also specify the random seed. When I press OK, an analysis window will appear. The left hand pane shows you the sample statistics for the random sample. It shows you the means of the thousand observations, the sample standard deviations, and also the sample correlations. You'll see they're similar although not exactly equal to the parameters that I specified. In the graphics pane, you'll see the generated random numbers. There's a box and whisker plot for the first variable, a box and whisker plot for the second variable, and a box and whisker plot for the third variable. There are also scatter plots for each pair of variables with an ellipse covering the 99.73% region for those two variables. That's equivalent to three standard deviations in a univariate normal distribution. Notice the positive orientation of each of the ellipses corresponding to the positive correlations between the variables. To save the random numbers, I'll now go to the analysis toolbar and press the save results button. I'll select the three random numbers selections. The target variables will be named x1, x2, and x3, and they'll be saved in datasheet B. I'll then press OK, go back to my data book, and you'll see in datasheet B the random numbers that I generated. I can now use this random sample as input to a Monte Carlo simulation to test a statistical procedure or for whatever other purpose I have in mind.